It's late at night, you know, it's, it's 3.52, I guess, technically in the morning. And, uh, you know, I'm sick of pretending I'm not awake at these hours. Honestly, it's a bit weird that we all try and pretend we don't routinely stay up until, what, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., right? I'm gonna just come out and say it. I stay up hella late, and it's horrible for me, and I want to stop, but I'm just not tired right now. So we're gonna do a little stream. This is called the the Alphabet Tier List. Um, and this is this is pretty much unironic. I mean, I just picked it random, basically. I just need something to do. I figured this would be kind of the most arbitrary tier list you could ever do, right? Because these, at the end of the day, these are all just kind of, you know, elements of the big hodgepodge that is the English language, right? We got a bunch of fucked up characters here. We got a bunch of characters that you just combine together. Isn't it? Isn't it so stupid that we have like? A setup where you basically just gotta switch a bunch of glyphs into one spot and pray they mean something, right? I don't know what I'm talking about, but you know what I mean. Like, isn't it weird that we have this whole alphabet and every number or, or, or every every letter, right? I mean, this is this is what gets me about letters is that the letter A, right? You got a capital A and you got a lowercase a. We have no cases for numbers. I don't know, capital letters kind of get my goat, because, I mean, they have their, their their time and place, right? Titles and stuff. Why is it that we have all these weird rules surrounding capitalization, but for numbers, we just throw all that out the fucking window? Who even knows? I don't know. Anyway, my, my point being, it's time to do a little analysis on these, these, these letters. They've gone unjudged for too long, in my opinion. So we're going to actually break this down. I think I literally will just do it alphabetically, but that kind of betrays sort of the problem in this, right? It's like, is A really A tier? I mean, the obvious choice is yes, but like, we take for granted that all these letters and stuff go in this order. The order is completely arbitrary. A, B, C, D, E, and F. F got the bad role in this situation. It's the worst one, but why? You know what I mean? Well, not, not why, but why? Is it that we, we, we think of things alphabetically as like, oh, that's like the right order. At some point, we just picked, right? So we should free ourselves, I think, from maybe maybe the shackles of, of alphabetization, right? Let's, let's just pick it random. Let's start with a, let's start with a nice, a nice uh, uncontroversial letter. Let's start, with, let's start with I, okay? That's a vowel. In my opinion, basically every vowel, that's a pure S tier. I also love capital I. And I on its own can literally just stand as a word, right? So that's basically perfect. I can't think of a better letter than I, literally. I kind of wish these were capitals. I wish we had for reference. You know what? Let's do this. I mean, we all know what fucking letters look like. I don't know why I would get a reference up for capital I. We all know what a capital I looks like. You know what? This this one is interesting. Let's let's. This is just for lowercase. Maybe we should do separately. Maybe we should do. NATO phonetic phonetic alphabet. No no no. I just want capital letters. Let's do this. Capital letters to us. Okay, here we go. See, this I don't like, though, that much because these are, they have weird serifs and stuff. This I is completely ruined. Like, this, this is, this sucks. You know what? That's too much effort. Let's just stick with the lowercase for now. And we'll, 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 we'll we all know what a, what a capital letter looks like. Are we, are we going to kid ourselves that we haven't seen a capital W a hundred fucking times in a row? Anyway. Let's 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 say I is solidly the 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 top the top of the top, right? Because it fits a lot of words together, right? There's a lot of words you literally can't just you, you can't get them without an I, and the same could be said of any vowel, right? So we got O, we got where is it E? All these all these I would say I don't want to jump the gun, but I'm gonna say probably every vowel is gonna be top ranking, just because of the way English works. Is they're they're literally essential to to actually you know constructing a fucking word right? You need these you need these things. So let's let's say let's say for now I is solidly S tier and then we can we can revisit. 
Let's start. Let's start out with a another another kind of goaded letter. I actually do think S is S tier. Um, for a couple reasons. Basically, when you see an S, you know a word's gonna be good, right? Like most words with S, just in my opinion, going on vibes alone, I I think they're pretty solid. But mainly what S is great for is plurals, right? We love a good plural. It's always better to have more of one thing, right? Would you rather have a fork or forks? Can't get that plural without the S. So serving, you know, our, our utilitarian rule, I would, I, would, I, would say, I would say the S is solidly S tier. Now, I don't want to be handing out the, the double S. I mean, let's just say this is S tier. I don't know why they put they, the double S. We went straight from A to double S, or is the single S. I'm going to say S is, is solidly S tier because it, it just kind of is. I like the design of it too. This is kind of also based on like the, the sort of look and feel of it because look at that. Oh, the S. I mean, it's fun, to, it's fun to draw even, right? Like let's look up the cool S. We all know how great this S is. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I was probably not even on the screen. Look at that. That's pretty good. Oh, face cam's not working. Hold on. Let me fix that real quick. Yeah, there we go. I've been looking a little lynchy in lately, so that's kind of how I look right now. But the cool S, that is like a, that's a literally iconic symbol. I mean, the fact that it, okay, the fact that S is above A? I mean, in the tier list, imagine, imagine, right? You are so good. I mean, you're so far down in the alphabet. That you wouldn't even be like top 10, right? But literally people acknowledge that S is so good. So good. That it literally deserves to be above A. So I think that basically speaks for itself. Now, speaking of A. You know what? We'll save A for later. Because A, a is a separate conversation. Let's move on. Let's move on, I think to a bit of a, a bit of a surprise letter okay we're not gonna go straight for the O we're not going straight for the U let's talk let's talk about Q for now let's talk about Q right because Q on its face doesn't really get a lot of action right in English I mean we don't know too much about frequency I'm sure I could look up let's let's see frequency of letters in English the frequency of letters in the alphabet in English. Now this is this is some fascinating stuff. So let's take a look, right? This is a good this is a good graphic. It's not super high resolution, but this is a this is a good graphic because I think it kind of demonstrates like what the what the deal really is, right? With Q is that it's not used at all. Right? You can see. Oh, you really can't see. Here we go. Q is basically like the social pariah, along with J, X, and Z, is like, if you're using Q, the situation really calls for it, right, is kind of the thing. Like, if you're, if you're putting Q in there, it's a, it's a real deliberate, like, we're, we're writing a word that needs a Q, you know what I mean? There's not any sort of British English misspelling, or I'll say misspelling because it's British, but you know what I mean? American English and British English, it's not going to be a situation where randomly, like, the British version has a Q, you know what I mean? It's not going to be like, that's always the weird OU stuff, as they always like to do. If you are if you got a Q in there, it's because the Q is literally essential. It's pulling the weight. Like, quiet, that word doesn't happen without the Q, you know what I mean? Literally any word with a Q, in my opinion, is carried by the Q, like... Let's think about a name, right? Like, what's well, your name's Tariq? Technically, you could spell it out without a without a Q, but like, you need the Q. You know what I mean? So Q, I'm gonna say, is actually kind of a workhorse letter. It may not get a lot of action, but when you get it in there, it's it's pretty important, right? So I'm gonna put Q solidly in the B tier, believe it or not. Now you. Q's Q's favorite friend. We're gonna put we're gonna put Q and U probably in different tiers because you, like I've been saying, vowels are goaded, right? But while we're here, let's let's just address this sort of combinatory. This is a this is a classic combination, right? Is you get the you get the Q and you get the U together. 
and you have a good time. I kind of like that combo element. That's why I like Q, is because you get the U in there. I mean, you pretty much need it, right? But it's kind of nice that you get the certainty of if you're going to use Q, you pretty much always get U with it. I mean, it's harder to go higher than S, right? But I would say U being just a vowel, another classic letter. I mean, we can take a look at the frequency right here. But U itself, where is it? Right here is not actually getting insane use. As a vowel, right, you get way more usage out of E. You get way more usage out of A. And U is kind of like the, eh, mm, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's kind of like a mid-tier vowel. So we'll say, I mean, we'll say U for now. We can we can go in and decide really in the in the within the tiers which is better. But I think for now U gets a solid S tier. Um, let's take a look at J. Now I'm biased, okay? I like J. The design of J to me is, I mean, I don't want to put S tier, but it's just a joy to draw, or I guess write it would be. J is such a fun letter because you got the dot. You get a little, you get a little, little dot, and then you get a nice hook, right? Like that hook is just so satisfying. Any any letter that you can go underneath the page, that's kind of a dub in my opinion. That's why Q is kind of high up too, is because like you get to go below the line. That's a that's a fun that's a fun thing to do, you know. Every letter you write, if you get to go beneath, maybe it wouldn't be that interesting, right? But J. Stuff like a P, stuff like a Q, like that's that's kind of fun to me. So I'm gonna say J is J is up there for sure, just off shape alone. I mean, I don't want to lean on letter frequency too much. I am curious to see. J does not get a lot of use. I'll say that J does not get the use it probably probably deserves, <laughs> arguably deserves. But hey, when you need it, you need it. It's another one where like if you, if you need a J, you really need a J, right? There's no there's no letter that really makes that sound. Like what would you even do? You're trying to write the word just with no J? Just? <laughs> it's not going to happen, right? You can try and replace like what D G E you can get, you can make wedge or edge. I got to say edge. I guess I already said edge, but you know what I mean? Like you can make that noise without the J. But in my opinion, those words should be written with J. Like, maybe this is a controversial take, but probably those should be written with J. Like, uh, like ledge? E, D, G, E. Like, what are we doing here? That could so easily be just L, E, J. But it's underutilized. So I would say, you know what? Instead of, instead of S tier... We're going to put J in solid, solidly A tier, just because it's, it's underutilized, but it should, be, it should be utilized more. It's not irreplaceable, I suppose, but in my opinion, it's, it's a bit cleaner than using, using other letters to accomplish that sound. Now, let's, let's take a look here at uh, L. Now, L is an interesting one. L and uppercase I, I would say L... The aesthetics of the of the L are very similar to I, right? So for me, that alone gets it gets it to B tier. But the problem with L for me is there's a lot of connotations around L, right? You don't want to take the L, you know what I mean? You don't wanna you don't wanna you don't wanna be there, right? And so that's probably why it's not gonna be higher, is just because L sort of has the the con the connotation of like you've just lost, right? And we'll talk about, I mean, W will get a boost for sure, just for being a W. But I suppose in some way it's kind of, it's, it's kind of iconic, right? The fact that a single word sort of co-opted the whole letter. The fact that you could just say, take the L, and people know like what you're talking about is kind of, I guess, a testament to the, the strength of the letter, right? Think about any other word. You can't, you can't really take the take the you know the the, the r that doesn't mean anything take the take the t i guess t is, is you know an actual word but you know what i mean like you can't take the blank of every letter so there's something to be said i think for that sort of iconography right you kind of want a little pizzazz on it you want a little you want a little something so let's let's say that l i would say i would say l is actually probably a tier just for the shorthand of, of that alone. 
Now let's let's take a look here at Z. I would say, okay, Z Z is like the prime candidate for F tier, right? In my opinion. First glance, Z is actually not that great of a letter, right? I mean, you can see letter frequency. Let's take a look at Z. Is literally just there's nothing there. Like it's completely it's completely barren, right? Oh, can you see my cursor? Wait, damn. I really hope you can. How do I even check this? I guess I could look at the stream. <laughs> There's got to be a better way to do this. Why is it so bad? I mean, is there a way to test this? I guess we could we, let's go on Twitch and see. Let's take a look. I just want to see if my cursor is literally on screen. So maybe we do this as we just see. Oh, I'm streaming my own stream. Yeah, enjoy the ad for the stream on the stream. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. What do y'all what do y'all think about Jack in the Box? I mean I'll say it. Fuck Jack in the Box. I've never once been there and been like, dude, whoa, whoa. It's going crazy. Like, no, nah, it's I mean it's always just kinda jack in the box. Alright, here we go. Oh, okay, yeah, I see a cursor. Wait, I can circle the cursor with my cursor. Oh, that's so interesting. Okay, yeah, so it is showing up. I mean, just I just wanted to check. Wait. Oh, I can, like, chase my cursor around. Oh, my God. Wait, hold on. Er. Wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, this is actually fun. Okay. <laughs> Come here. Let's do this. Wait. When the ad loads, do you think... How is this going to even work? Okay. Nope. Oh. Okay. This I'm, I'm not wasting any more time on this, but that was fun. Let's get back to this. Where were we? Z. I think Z, as a design, is really cool, right? I mean, it's up there with S, literally, as such a satisfying kind of letter to write. But the problem with Z is you really just don't get a lot of use out of it. It's fun to use Z, make no mistake. Like Febreze? That's a fun, I mean, I mean, just breeze at all, right? Steez, S-T-E-E-Z, like that's, that's a fun word. But I really can't justify giving Z anything more than like a C tier, unfortunately. That brings us, I think, probably next up is let's, let's do M and N. Because for whatever reason, I mean, look at their designs, right? Probably there's some historical reason for this. But M and N, in my mind, are kind of on par with each other. So, really, they should probably be in the same tier. For whatever reason, mentally, I kind of just block these two together. And it's not just because when you sing the alphabet song, you always get the L M N M N M N M N M N M N M N M N like M N O P, like that, that kind of thing. If for whatever reason, these two letters are just fused in my mind permanently, right? So I think, honestly, just off vibes alone, I don't even have a good reason for this, but I'm going to put M and N just in solid B tier. Like, I, I don't even need to see a frequency chart. I don't even need to see nothing about how much they get used or like what. I'm, I'm trying to think of a way that M could possibly be superior to N or vice versa. I really just can't. So that's all I'll say about that. We can maybe revisit. But for now, I think those are going to be in B tier. F is an interesting one. I don't know what I'm going to do with F. Like, frankly, but, 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 frankly, I, I, get, I get C tier vibes off of F. Because for whatever reason, I don't know, a capital F, F gets a lot of hate. As a utility letter, slapping a big F on something is actually, I mean, you've ever gotten a test, if you've ever, if you've ever gotten a test back with like a fat F slapped on it, like it hurts in the moment, but like that's kind of a, that's kind of a powerful letter, right? If you think about it, that's like failure. In our grading system, we don't even, we don't even get to E. You can get an A, a B, a C, a D, or you just get an F, right? Like F is as bad as it gets. Literally, and for whatever reason, like that's kind of actually cool in my opinion. The fact that you can just get an F is sort of nice. So ironically, F is actually going to be A tier for me. Like just off the way that I kind of feel about F. 
<laughs> I mean, also F is the start of, you know, many, uh, many fun words that we can't really, we can't very well list all, all words that start with F, but maybe we should actually pull up like a, like a <laughs> words that start with kind of, kind of, kind of, uh, <laughs> set up here. And we can do, let's, I mean, let's take a look. Let's say all I got is an F. Will it just list? No, I need starts. Let's say just starts with F. And it'll just list, right? Fractionalizing. Familiar, familiarization. These are all excellent words. But really, I would say, oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> you know. Really, I would say this is this is just a solidly A tier letter. Like that's that's all it's gonna be. Now C, I think is gonna be the first letter. Let's see. This is gonna be the first letter I think that we put in the actual category that it kind of is. Is C being C tier just feels instinctually right to me. I've never once been writing a C. I mean, it is a little bit satisfying to write a C. We can, I mean, we, I guess we can go C, but like, let's do this. Window capture. We want Microsoft Paint. Now, I think what we're gonna want is let's just not even, let's just say this is just our paint window for now. <laughs> and we can just, we can just fuck around and paint. If I move this around, okay. Let's, I mean, let's give it a try. C is, C is certainly satisfying to write. But it just doesn't really have, I mean, I would say O. O is, we'll get to O. But I would say C to me always kind of just felt like half an O. You know what I mean? Like instinctually, you kind of just don't want to stop at the at the bottom. It's just a little bit of a tease, right? Is you want to kind of get all the way around. But that's just why C. I don't really I don't really vibe with C that much. Now K, I would say solidly B tier, because when I think K, I think like texting, right? It's like K. I don't really like to text K, but clearly it holds a lot of utility for other people, right? When you see somebody text K, you know they're like out and about, right? They're they're gripping their phone like it's the, you know, the holy grail or something, and they're they're walking at like maximum speed to some location, and they're texting you as like I just need to confirm, like get him out of my hair, like that's that's what I picture when I get texted K, is someone who has so little time they can't even put the O in OK. Like that's serious business. In a high stakes situation, you really need the K to pull through. And what are you gonna do? You're gonna just text the O? The reason K is like the 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 dub, the dub, W. The the reason K is like the better part of that that pairing, I think, is because it kinda has a it kinda has a more abrasive feel to it, right? Is when you say O oh, K, the K like that, that, that's a hard sound i mean c can make that sound too we still put it in c tier but that that sort of abrasiveness is kind of what you want what are you going to text somebody oh just oh it doesn't mean anything at some point we made the the operative decision i don't know if i'm using that word right we made the decision that the part of okay that's the important part is the k like okay kind of kind of feels like more essential but also, I do think K is really fun to write because when you get K, it's really, I mean, it's just a line and you get two and there's something really nice about that kind of angle, right? It's like you make a, you make a, you don't really think about it, but you kind of shoot for like a pure 90, right? It's like, that's a, that's a solid K in my opinion. Yeah, I'm not going to do a third one. But like that's kind of cool. I mean, also, I mean, you not not to say you have to, but like this kind of looks messed up, right? You don't want a K is too thin. You don't want a K that's like the weird like acute angle. Like what are you what are you doing? 
you shoot for pretty much the 90 or if you're gonna do if you're gonna do i guess i guess it's better to have a wider angle than not but i would say honestly this kind of this kind of floats my boat like something about that is just so nice not to mention it's really satisfying that you kind of go top to bottom in like the easy way and then you go top to bottom in like the kind of the more difficult way i don't know i just like ms paint to be honest this stuff's so fun anyway back to it let's take a look at v now v is a similar sort of like fun to write very simple letter i don't know why v kind of gets the precedence over c Maybe I favor more angular letters, right? Because you get a V, like, that's just nice. That's just, you can write V all day. C is kind of a pain to write. But V, for whatever reason, being so kind of abrupt, there's, there feels like, you know, there's a bit of a... a bit of a fun... fun, you know, aspect to writing V. Now let's take a look at the letter frequency, right? Because V is not getting a lot, right? We all know V is kind of not the not the the workhorse of the alphabet, certainly. Let's see. It's, I mean, it's it's definitely it's putting up a little bit of something, but like next closest would be like P, and like this is kind of where all the real sort of like not really not really happening letters are kind of living, and and V is even on the lower end of that. But there's a lot of there's a lot of great words with V. I mean, we can see. Where is it? Did I delete it already? What? How did I already get get lost? Let's say let's see what words let's see what words contain V. I mean, as many many words. But like. JJ, yeah, I mean, I, I suppose technically. Vox Pop, VJ, Vizard, King Vizard and the Lizard Wizard, Java. Have, have, I think, is probably just a great word. I mean, we could do every word tier list if we wanted to be here forever. I keep instinctually closing that site. <laughs> Let's keep it open. But like V, for whatever reason, just feels like kind of a B tier letter. Like I don't care that much that it's not used that much. When it is used, even it's not that impactful, I guess. Like stevia, like the the V in that, it is essential. Make no mistake. But at the same time, it's not really the focus of the word. I suppose letters don't really have to be the focus necessarily of each word that they're in. But I don't know. For whatever reason, V is kind of always just to me like a B tier letter. Now, let's take a look at P. I've already expressed my affinity for letters that kind of kind of go beneath the page, right? Something about the P going below is kind of nice, right? It's like it's like a you know, it's really satisfying. I mean, let's let's pull a paint, right? Is it's really satisfying to say that's that's the P. Or if you're like some people, you go up and around, you do a little P like that. Like that's that's satisfying, but at the same time, uppercase P is really satisfying. And I think honestly, this is just a great design for a letter. And in my opinion, the best letters are kind of just like I don't know combinations, I guess, of a line and like something fun. I mean, I saw you saw me give K a high rating. It's the same exact principle. Is P is literally just a line with something interesting. Q is literally just a line with a little something on it, right? Like that's Q. And I've I've been I've been expressing my love for all these letters. Take a look. I mean, Q's Q's not super high, but like you'll see. I mean, there's 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 high representation in letters that are basically just a line. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking this. But on some level, I do think I do think P is A tier. Also, P is sort of the the start of a lot of great words. Like I'm pissed, I'm pissed, pissed. That's probably disgusting. Also, I forgot to turn off my. Uh, why is my computer just just cooking? I thought I turned off my space heater and I did, but I realized my computer was actually making that noise. So anyway. We're gonna say P is solidly A tier. Now let's get into sort of the oddball letters. Let's talk about X. 
Now, X to me, genuinely, genuinely, you know, Twitter's rebranding notwithstanding, that rhymed. X is just so good. I mean, come on, you can't do any better than X. Like, it's just, it's like the part of the infinity that you just want to just have around all the time. Like, X is just so good. The X Men, if you're going to go exchange something like you need the x not to mention ex just as a as a prefix or suffix is just the just the goat in my opinion of that sort of like letter combo but like the word textile e x t is just such a just such a goaded like maybe it may be t honestly gets the honorary just off that is like i love the fact that you can just get you can get exterior, you can get like all kinds of like, you know, extrapolate. EXT is probably the probably the most goaded combo. Oh, what have I done? Hold on. There we go. Is that too thin? Let's see. I would say I would say EXT is just a cracked combo, but the, the best part of it is the X. Oh my gosh, that's just so fun to do. How do you write your X? I do it like this. I don't know why. Probably I should do it like this. Or probably, I mean, arguably, it's it's sort of like a what you're supposed to finish on the downstroke. I don't know how exactly to make an X properly. I've always just done it like that. But X is just fascinating. I mean, let's see. Let's make a bunch of Xs, right? Like, that's just so cool. Two intersecting lines as a design, for whatever reason, is just peak for me. It's the same lowercase as it is uppercase, which I feel like kind of lends a simplicity to it that I really appreciate. X, to me, is just, is just good. Like, there's a reason Elon likes this letter. I'm not saying Elon's a genius or anything. In fact, far from it. I fucking hate Elon Musk. But he sees something in the X that, like... I kind of see too. Apparently, I mean, we can look this up. Elon tried to like make PayPal X. Why does Elon Musk <laughs> like the letter X? Let's see. So let's take a look. This is, I'm sure, going to be a great, a great medium article. Why does he like X so much? A man with a vision for the future. Okay, I mean, who who gives a fuck about any of this? X, X, oh my gosh, yeah, I mean, X is an unknown, right? How are you gonna do, how are you gonna do algebra without X? How could I forget? I'm not even gonna get into that, but I think X being such a, like, you know, whatever, X, Y, Z, or like, it's the, it's the part of X, Y, Z that's like the fun part. You know what I mean? Y, Z doesn't really have the same ring to it. But like what, you're gonna get 2x plus 5 without x? You're dreaming, dude. Algebra needs that. Solve for x? That's just a goaded phrase. I could go on and on. Like I love I love the letter X. Now that I'm now that I'm really realizing it. I also didn't realize I didn't realize I was gonna start this stream. I had I I can be 100 percent honest if in saying that literally I had no real strong opinions on the on the letters before I started this. But now I'm thinking about it, like, really, it kind of is, like, some letters are just way more fun. Um, but yeah, let's say, let's say X for now is solidly S tier. In fact, I may preemptively just put it, like, it might be the best letter, just straight up. But here we go, we're getting into some, some goofball letters, like G. Let's think about this for a second, because G, the way that it's portrayed here, right, Nobody in their fucking life has ever written a G like this. What is it like? Like who even who even would think to do that? What even is it? A G? That sucks. That sucks to do, and nobody ever writes it like that. To me, I mean, there's a reason there's two Gs that you can explore. But G is this is G, right? That's G to me. Uppercase G, I think, bumps it up a little bit. I do think that there's kind of a weird sort of yin-yang thing going on here between these two. For whatever reason, uppercase G and lowercase G always sort of felt like two sides of the same coin. I mean, in, in ways that, that other letters kind of don't, right? 
I'm a sucker for letters that have the same, essentially the same capital letter as they do lowercase letter, but this is the exception, right? Because I feel like a capital G, for whatever reason, it's a joy to write, first of all. Like, let's not, let's not kid ourselves. This is just fun. It's just so good because it's basically all one line, right? It's so, it's so great to get a nice clean G, but it kind of has the element of like challenge to it. I don't know if that makes sense, but a G always kind of felt like, oh, am I going to lock it in? Is it going to be good? Or is it going to be like a, like a fucked up G? You know what I mean? Like, like you go do it a little too fast. It's like not quite the G you want. Like it's it always feels like to me like you're at risk of messing it up, but that's kind of the that's kind of the joy of G, right? Is that you get <laughs> you get kind of what you put into it, right? I guess it's the case for all letters, but like there's no way to mess up I really. Like what are you gonna do? Get like a fucked up slant or something? No, it's not gonna happen. With G, I kind of like the element of danger for whatever. G -g -g danger, danger. But the problem with G2 is that G kind of horns in on J's territory, respectfully. The problem with G, in my opinion, is that, I mean, we discussed it earlier with words like ledge and stuff. Like, it's it's a weird kind of like, I don't want to say snake-like letter, but it's kind of an oily letter, right? You get lots of like, O-U-G-H is kind of the cursed, con I mean, it's, it's, it's a weird it's a weird letter in the sense that you can kind of fit it into places that you really wouldn't expect to put it, right? Let's take a look at some, some words that just contain G because the the kind of stuff that you get, get is, I mean, you get a lot of Gs on the end of stuff. Let's see. Let's find, let's find some words. I don't know. This is not. This is making a case for the fact that G kind of just appears at the end of words a lot of the time, which I hadn't really considered. ING is a pretty goaded combo, in in my opinion. I mean, that's kind of how what. That's not an adverb. What am I saying? Like uh, basically. Basically, yeah, that's kind of how verbs, like swinging, jumping, I guess present present tense verbs specifically, right, kind of get carried by G. So I would say, honestly, A, A tier for G. Now here's where we get into, like, I don't want to be mean here. I, I'm going to say, honestly, I think Y is the first, the first letter that I actually want to just put in D tier. And I, I don't, I, I couldn't tell you why it is, why it is, but for whatever reason, I mean, why, why being fun to write doesn't really offset the fact that the vibe is kind of just weird, right? It's like, does, how often does Y even appear? It gets a little more, it gets more play than V, that's surprising to me. I mean, it's, it's in a lot of critical words, like day say lay pay way like it's it's all it's all why i'm not going to deny that why is literally essential to the construction of countless words but it's the case with every letter right if we were like well you can't do whatever word you can't do x word x by the way x by the way you can't do x word without this letter we would be here all day i mean that's that's kind of an unfair praise i guess to give other letters because even though obviously like let's let's discuss the elephant in the room is e right the absolute champ of frequency being a vowel and also just such a such a versatile letter we'll discuss it later but i mean all these letters are getting used let's not act like i mean whatever even the even the most kind of lame duck letters around are still getting into words certainly so let's 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 kind of table that sort of line of thinking for now and let me just explain, like, for whatever reason, Y just kind of rubs me the wrong way. It's right before Z, which maybe is Y. Like, Z is sort of the, the classic, like, dud letter, you know what I mean? But even Z, I feel like, is more iconic. If you saw a Z written on something, you know what? I'm going to bump, honestly, straight up, I'm going to bump Z up to B tier. Just off, just off this realization that, like, 
I would I would find it way more fascinating to just see a Z written somewhere as an artistic statement than like a Y. Like it's just it's just uh, something feels kind of incomplete about Y. When you really, I mean, you can get some plain Y's, but something about it just it feels like there should be a little more. Uppercase Y is a different is a different sort of problem where you always you can't quite hit. It's like this weird sort of skill game and not in the fun way like G because you have to do the setup and then you have to stick the landing to get a good uppercase Y like you kind of have to really take your time in not a fun way with G you can really get in there and like oh like that's a that's an okay G that's an all right G it took me so quick to do but for Y if I want like a clean uppercase Y like I really have to just like make sure like it it does like see that's not even it's not even good it really has to just hit the top of that and getting the angle on it you get a fucked up y if you mess this angle up at all it's kind of a it's kind of not a k situation right because k you can get away with a kind of a variety of angles you don't need it to be super accurate but for y for whatever reason like obviously this ain't gonna fly if you see somebody type that you write that say like are you okay dude or like whatever for some reason oftentimes the ratio is off like this just doesn't even look like a letter anymore i guess i've been drawing it a lot but like something about it the top never quite connects with the bottom i don't know man the more i think about it i'm gonna be honest i think i think y gets a legitimate e tier like i just i just don't vibe with y the exception is Sometimes, sometimes when Y is a vowel, I will, you know what, here's what I'll say. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, probably one of the biggest sort of like sometimes is doing a lot of work there. Because sometimes it is true, it is true that, you know, Y, y does get its day in the sun sometimes. If we go down, we can see like three letter words, like where's Jim in here? You're telling me, oh, there's a bunch of them. Like Jim, right, obviously. Ivy is not, I mean, that, like most of these are getting carried by other vowels, right? Most of the time, Y is not going to be the vowel that you really care about. I'm trying to think like rhyme. Rhyme is a good word with Y. But for some reason, I don't know. I just don't, I'm not even going to explain it any further. But... I just do not, I do not vibe with Y, frankly. So for now, we're gonna say that's in the, that's in the E tier. Now let's, let's, let's give ourselves a nice easy one. This one, this one's easy to categorize. E is, E is probably up there with X. I mean, I would say tied. Tied for first place probably, probably must go to letter in history. Like let's, let's take a look. I want to see, we can take a look at this too, is like E 11%, 11%, like are we, are we joking ourselves? If we're going to say, it's not on the screen, but look at, look at how good, look at, like, okay, no other letter can literally claim to have more than 10% except E, right? Like that's just that's just something that you 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 want to you want to step back and consider like dude e is is basically the basis i mean it's literally in english right in the word english but like b is kind of the the word course the true like let's just put it in every word because damn if it doesn't do its job you can get e r you can get e m is a great combo like empathy empathetic like you know whatever engage e n is such a good combo e literally combos with literally every other letter like you know what i mean like you can't take q and just put it up next to anything it's not gonna work take m put it up next to like a lot of the time like you'll need you'll need some some setup to make it work but e is truly like next to anything you're off to the races like g e german emerge or like you can do like egret like ez is literally I means easy bro like literally every letter like you can put it next to something else eject like elect effect 
you know what i mean like it's just too easy like literally it's too easy because e is kind of i mean being a vowel right i guess every vowel has an advantage but like how many words you know that got like an i i k versus e k it's not even close like i don't i'll stand on that it's like it's it's just it's just too too good of a letter so i'm gonna say solidly s tier for e now let's let's move on to to a, a, another kind of counterpart to to l which is w now i think l and w were honestly kind of tied despite the fact that like you know for whatever for whatever reason whoa, 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 whatever reason w kind of kind of always made me wonder like wonder <laughs> why is it so it's in so much stuff i know it kind of doesn't really feel like it but like it really is like look w gets more play than literally like well literally in something is that's, that's supposedly a vowel sometimes i mean who are we joking come on but 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 w gets more play than like a lot of letters really it's literally on the level of like you know it's not quite as popular as as M, despite being pretty much the same letter upside down, but W, I mean, that's a solid, a solid 1% market share. That's not even horrible. It's not the best, but it's certainly better than, I mean, come on. Even, even though it's not really the, the most used, I would say a lot of really great words use W. Like, it's kind of, it's kind of nice. Like, saying, saying words that use W, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, that sort of mouth movement, for whatever reason, is just really satisfying. Like, wild. That's wild to me. Whoa, 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 wild to me. Like, that kind of stuff, for whatever reason, just just puts W in the, in the, in the you know, the solidly A-tier category. Not to mention it gets bonus points for having its lowercase and uppercase be the same. It's a nice, clean design. It's all one line, which I really enjoy. I really do think that, like, the one line design, maybe that's why Y rubs me so wrong, is that you either, you either make it easy to do with two lines or you make it easy to do with one line. So X, right, that's easy with two. K easy with two but w is pretty easy i mean with one and y just doesn't have that advantage i hate to keep coming back to y i hate to keep harping on y but it just doesn't quite i mean it's there's not there's just not something i want to do about write it write it that way and w i just something about it man like i don't know like that's just kind of nice not to mention like i said w and m i would say maybe we could get into this later but letters that sort of have like <laughs> i don't know what you would call it i guess in this case it literally is sort of like mario and luigi type symmetry is right like it's the same thing literally just upside down something about w is just kind of nice so we'll say that's a tier now b I hate to I hate to go for the lazy out, but B is B tier, and I couldn't tell you why. Some of these there's a whole there's a whole reasoning behind it that I've that I've kind of tapped into. I mean I had I guess I I guess I had these thoughts in my head before I started just babbling right, not coming from nowhere, but really what this exercise is is why do i feel the way i do about these letters is it because of the writing like let's balance out like the whoa 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 let's think about all the words that w's in now for b really it just kind of is vibes like i just don't really fuck with b that heavy to be honest i wish i could tell you more than that but let's move on to a real a real solid letter in my opinion h now, H, I hear you saying, like, that's a two-line, blah, blah, blah. Like, H is not the cleanest-looking letter. But to that I say, you're forgetting all about capital H. Tell me that is not just, just peak design. I mean, 
Like, whoever came up with the design for H was literally cooking with napalm because just, just, it's awesome. It's just so good. I could, I could see H all day. Not to mention, lowercase h is pretty fun to write. Hi. I mean, tell me you haven't had some fun writing hi to your friends. You're fucking lying if you think h is like not a not a fun letter. But then, I kind of like the fact that the, the lowercase and the uppercase, they kind of have the same vibe, right? Like you can see. But uppercase h is kind of like lowercase h really just straightened itself out and like grew up. And that's the vibe you want from an uppercase letter. Like, you want it to feel like kind of more official, right? Is same deal with J. You get lowercase j and uppercase j. It feels like this, this is like the evolved Pokemon version of this. And that's always the vibe you want. Like, literally imagine, like, okay, let's, let's, let's write a lowercase h. And then let's imagine, okay, well, now it's time to evolve. It like gains an element and it kind of straightens itself out, right? Is like it feels much firmer and kind of more definitive, I guess, than the lowercase one. Not to mention, I mean, the perfectly straight line. It's sort of a it's sort of a vibe to just have like the perfect H. You know what I mean? Like that's that's just clean. I don't know what to tell you. Writing like the first sentence or like the first word of a sentence with h is you know you're you're off to, you're off to the races like there's something sort of imposing about it so we'll say h i think honestly is better than better than s the sleeper the sleeper of the alphabet in my opinion let's take a look at frequency while we're at it h okay h is putting up some numbers h is almost on the level of i which is shocking to me actually h literally outperforms another vowel which is u we'll get to we'll get to u oh, we already did u <laughs> i was gonna say like yeah like u is just good but h i mean is putting up some serious some serious numbers just as a letter i mean i'm not surprised <sighs> like it's just a it's just a good sound too i mean there's not really any other letters that can kind of get you that noise for uniqueness, definitely points for uniqueness is like, how are you going to say I'm happy without the H? How are you going to say I'm going to heaven? I'm going to hell without the H. How are you going to say I'm going on the highway to hell without H? You're not going to do it. So anyway, let's, let's move on to O and A. And then I think we'll do, we'll do R last because I kind of have, I kind of have some thoughts about R that I've been formulating over the course. But let's do O. I mean, y you can't do better than O. Like, it's just, it's just a, it's just a fact. Like, there's no beating, just such a simple design. Like, I don't even know how else to put it. Like, O? Like, come on. Like, it's just, you can't, you literally, it's impossible to do it wrong. Like, this, it, the, this is, this is the peak of design is like, <laughs> just so iconic that like it's it's literally just a shape like imagine we had a letter that was just a fucking triangle is like that's kind of what o is to me sure if you really want to get fancy you can say like oh o has like whatever this this font does it too right this font does it too where it's weirdly weighted i genuinely do not care if you do that or not but in my opinion O is just unbeatable as a design. Now, on top of being a vowel, I will say that like O kind of brings a lot of fun to a word. You see an O in the word, it's like, you know, whatever. Like we're 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 making a fun noise with our mouth. Cause listen, like O oh, O oh, O. Oh. When you make an O sound, your mouth literally makes an O. O O O O O O O O. It's magic. Like you can you can put it you can put it in anything. But O is like literally just an exclamation on its own. O own. Like imagine doing own without the O. But like the fact that you can just say O, the H probably isn't even that necessary. I mean H is H is good to have. But you could text someone like O and they would understand. Now, for whatever reason, 
you know, we were talking about K. For whatever reason, O got dropped. But, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just because it had its day in the spotlight already. If you look at the frequency, where's, where's K? Am I stupid? What the fuck? Okay, that's right. <laughs> so I don't know. I was looking at I was looking at something else. I mean, know what I was looking at. I was uh, it's throwing me because this on the left side you can't see. I was trying to I was trying to look on the on the graph as if. I mean, I'm not even gonna explain, but this is not alphabetized, obviously, and this one is, which kind of threw me off. I don't know why that was the first time that that really occurred to me. But look, K is not quite not quite cutting it compared to O. O has insane frequency numbers on par with A, on par with I mean, T. I didn't realize got so much use. I love T, but you know. It's 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 a performer. That's my point. Is that O kind of gets gets it done. Now let's take a look at D. <laughs> Again, this is the one where it kind of feels wrong to put in D tier. It's the only one we have. But I don't know. Maybe D gets to be C tier because despite the the kind of crusty lowercase, I hate the lowercase the lowercase D. Right, cause it's just a, it's just a shitty letter to draw. Like, ugh, I don't, I don't know. There's, I could never. My handwriting sucks. I'll admit to that. You'll never hear me say it's good, but something always just felt kind of, kind of janky about D. Like, yeah, there's no real good way to do it. Capital D gets a pass from me. It is a bit annoying that you kind of got to be accurate. Like, I hate letters where the tech is. You kind of got to find a specific point at the end of a line and do it because it leads to a lot of stuff where like it's not quite right but with d you can kind of afford to sort of miss it right it's like you don't need the perfect d for it to kind of be clear that it's a d but my problem with d too is sometimes you'll end up with like a real lazy sort of like i don't know or it's like not quite it's like just just bad the curve on is not that good so i'll say d is solidly c tier now we're getting we're getting close to the end. We've been holding off on A, right? That's kind of been the the elephant in the room. It's like, dude, is A A tier? Dude, is A S tier? It's literally the first letter. I genuinely think that like, probably, A is like the most iconic letter in English. Now, does that mean it gets special treatment? No, I don't. I don't think so. Like, no one really thinks of it that way. But A is kind of like the mascot. Being the one that comes in first is, like, kind of the flex. Is like, A, B. Like, dude, A is, like, the start. Now, how it became that way, I don't know. Did it win, like, Battle Royale against all the other letters? I don't think so. But, like, on some level, you kind of have to just respect the vibe of, like, it's just the first one. But that being said, even though it is a vowel... I do think A is kind of a kind of a janky letter to write. Like A does stand on its own as a word alongside I, but for whatever reason the lowercase A was just never really my vibe. Like there's always something weird about the tail or something like I don't know. But at the same time, uppercase A is pretty much the most goaded letter of all time. Like it's literally iconic. The, the the whole the whole idea is like you're not really caring about the <laughs> the lowercase A when you got such a good uppercase. So I'm gonna say honestly, A is solidly B tier for me, even though it is a vowel. I don't know. I guess it gets a lot of use. Like A A is pretty essential. So I I guess I guess that's going to be S tier. But in my heart of hearts, it's really just the best A tier. You know what I mean? Like it's really good, but something about it kind of is like bland almost about A. That's just the way I feel. I mean, this is the only the only vowel except for knockoff vowels. That's not gonna get the S for me, just just for whatever reason. I just I just don't really feel it. I'm just not really feeling it with A. Now, 
We saved we saved R for last. I don't know why we did it. But something to me, let's finish strong, right? It's like R is just so so nice, so clean. Like let's let's write an R and like it's this this curve right here is like it's so nice for whatever reason the uppercase r is kind of like the best i mean i'm biased obviously but something about that is just iconic dude like you can have like fun kind of like angular r's like the fun that people have designing fonts with r is truly truly baffling like i didn't realize you could have this much fun with R, but like you can do, you can do stuff where it's like, like that, that could be an R, or like, you know what I mean? Is like, this is like, that's an R. You can get really angular with it, or you can get really kind of natural with it. It's like, oh wow. The, get the R. I don't know. But lowercase R, in my opinion, kind of drags a bit. Lowercase R is kind of like the bum ass. I don't know. It's easier to write not on not on paint, but something about lowercase r kind of kind of does rub me the wrong way. Now, when we talk about usage of r, usage of r is just goaded. It just is. Like I don't care really just about frequency here, but as you can see, it gets some solid frequency. R, like we can see how many words. Let's look up the history of the letter R. <laughs> like it's just it's just so so primordial to me. Like it's just such a classic. Like look at that. Oh yeah. Bro, bro, bro. I'm beginning to feel like a rap god, rap god. But R is just like such a great closer to words. ER, I mean, I've, I've definitely mentioned it, but ER is a completely busted letter combo because that's like the tech. It's like anything that gets to be part of a, a suffix or prefix is really kind of like you're, you're there for life. You know what I mean? Like bigger, smaller, fatter, wider shorter like it's all it's all r you can't get that without the r and not to mention i mean many words that start with r are super fun to say like really 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 like the the sound you make in your mouth ruh, ruh, ruh. the erotic <laughs> not erotic not erotic but erotic like the sound the ruh sound is just so fascinating to me and i don't know why why like it just it just is nice not to mention i mean you can roll your r's you can r r r really roll your r's i feel like i'm going insane here but honestly i'm gonna say r is even better than e and i think that's gonna be the alphabet tier list how long has it been i've been i did this for a full f hour <laughs> gotta be kidding me okay well anyway i guess i guess that's me uh signing off bye maybe just for fun we can do every letter you can see my horrible handwriting g That's the wrong Y. <laughs> I don't care about Y. I don't like uppercase Y. And Z. Goodbye, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I know everyone... I know I know. I haven't been reading chat. I know everyone's been, you know, typing furiously their, their letter opinions. But, you know, I'm just too locked into response. So enjoy your, enjoy your evening. And uh, enjoy the, the letter tier list.